Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you on how to do this very cool, very easy zoom through eye transition. First, go to the effects column, find draw mask and drag onto your clip. Choose the shape type to be spline, quickly draw a shape of the eye. So basically, if your clip is very stabilized, you don't have to change much, it's very simple. But if your clip moves a lot, you have to create keyframes and that's a chore. And remember to click on invert mask and change the shape, adjust accordingly, increase the feather and yep, for simplicity today, I'm just going to use a very simple stabilized clip with another clip. I'm going to drag it below this clip and then create a keyframe, a few opacity for the eye clip and go to the start, decrease the fill opacity to minimum 0% and then go to the end of the clip and increase the fill opacity to around um, actually any suitable value that you find and then it's okay if this clip looks weird because you can always change the actual compositing opacity later but I'm going to go to the second clip and also bring down the opacity to a suitable value go to the start of the clip Decrease to 0% for the second clip for opacity and increase a little bit in the middle and increase to maximum 100% at the end of the clip, the first clip actually. And then, and then if you play it back, you can see that there's a gradual change from the eye, the pupil of the eye to the second clip. And then we're going to go to crop and find can burns and then go to the first clip and you can see that there are actually two boxes one green one red green one make sure you adjust to cover the entire screen and the red one for this case i'm going to just adjust till it covers partially of this pupil and click done so when you play back you can have a very smooth very simple very good looking transition through the eye if you want to make it even better looking you can always go to the middle of the clip change the opacity and create keyframes and bring it down bring it up do some slight adjustments for this case i'm going to bring the opacity down a little bit when you play back you can see that the eye and the actual clip is being more and more diluted so if your clip has a very small eye and this cam burns box is much bigger than your eye you can always change another method you can go to the clip and enlarge your eye your pupil to a very 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 big percentage adjust the scale the position x and y axis until that you feel your pupil covers the entire screen and then take a screenshot or photo of this transformation value that is in the Final Cut Pro 10 and then yeah click done for this one and you can reset all the values or just press um, command Z to make sure it go back to the original uh, percentage and then go to the end of the clip and always create keyframes for scale all and position and type the x axis value for the screenshot one and y axis value is 1250 and as well as the scale all value 665 and once you go back to the start, you can see that the pupil is very, very big. Don't panic. You can always create keyframes again on position and scale and reset the position to both zero and go back to the original scale that I have just now is actually 109%. And when you play back, it looks good. And you can always readjust the opacity for this case. I'm going to bring down the compositing opacity even further so this zoom through eye transition has a very very good looking effect 
And that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy and please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and bye bye.